what's poppin'? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Itsu Udon Yep, the Itsu Udon noodles. Now right. I absolutely love Udon noodles man. Like we had half term a while back, only about a few weeks back. And what's that noise man? Sorry, this this I just need to keep planting because this video is not starting very well <laughs> at all. Today we're gonna to be reviewing Itsu pot noodles. Udon noodles this time. Udon. I absolutely love udon noodles man because we had half term a while back and every single day i just eat udon noodles and i put pesto with them because i couldn't be able to make a sauce so i'd have udon noodles and a boiled egg and that's that's, that's slapped man it's slapped first of the bat, i want to address why i wasn't here i mean sure i had exams but the real reason is because of these things right so i didn't i've run out of noodles actually i had only noodles i had with these and they're just so look look listen do you want to eat that? And bear in mind, this has been sitting on my windowsill. The sun is coming down and just cooking these noodles in the sun. And look, look that's not like nice. That's not appetizing to hear. And look, the picture isn't even that good. Maybe I will do these, but these are a bit old, so I don't exactly want to. But I will eventually. But today, we're doing the Udon noodles, continuing the Itsu series that's just somehow come into existence on this channel. Also, my mic is a bit funky, like, I unplugged it today to put it into the camera, and I realised, because you know how, like, the micro USB has a little, like, pins in it? The pins have all stuck into the camera, like, if you take the cable out, there's no pins in the cable where they should be, the pins have all stuck themselves in the camera, but somehow it's still working, so we're just going to keep going with it, I guess. Let's just review the down noodles now. It's basically our channel mantra, review the down noodles, Jacob. So yeah, I don't get how they make these vegan. These noodles are always vegan. Like, I know you make, I know you make like pasta and stuff. Pasta noodles. What you do is you just, just mix eggs with flour. My door keeps whacking because my windows are really bad. The wind, like just a little bit of wind comes through, hits the doors and boof, door goes boof. Plus my sister's here, so I hope we'll get interrupted. And I forgot chopsticks. There she goes. Got the chopsticks. Now, let's let's just get on with this. Just eat the noodles, man. Hurry it up. Now, nothing interesting on the sides at all, other than their random stuff. Because obviously they can't make it look cool and stuff. Yeah. Let's open them up. That didn't go well. That's just really unsatisfying. It's not. It's not Eddie's fault. It's my fault. I'm really good. And I put it in the thing now. What's that car doing out there? Very, very loud. So we've got the sesame chicken broth. Yeah. It's got something on the back too. This Asian inspired vegan sesame chicken. Chicken. What? I hate when they do the apost chick apostrophe N. Like, what? It makes me think it's not actual chicken. Because it isn't. Like, it can't be actual chicken because this thing says vegan. Vegan. So I don't need this thing. I'm gonna boom ASMR. ASMR. No, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Negi. Oh, I know this. I know this. That kanji means that means green. No, it means. It either means green or blue. Like, I know green is Midori and blue is Aoi. Aoi Negi. Negi is um, spring onion. Look, they've got air in the packet. Look. Wow, look at that. Oh my god. Stop being. Okay. I've got, to, I've got to neaten these things up too. Okay. And I'm going to do the thing again where I hold the noodles in my hand. Who's like this? These noodles are quite. These noodles are quite thin. Like. Udon I have. I just have the plain udon and I've put pesto on them. I know, right? Terrible. But they were way thicker. And what I love about udon is how thick they are. I love thick noodles. But like, the udon I ate, they put vinegar in it to like get rid of the alkali or whatever. And it kind of like, it didn't smell great. 
but anyways here's the thing let me just empty the lid that didn't come out properly there we go so yeah i put it there leave it for five minutes Wait, what for fuller flavor leave the rest for an extra five minutes so what i fill it there leave it for five minutes stir and then do i leave it for five minutes again look at me your boy is struggling to cook noodles and i've got a little wiggly line here fill to cook wiggly line but hey that's pretty good so let's put the noodles in the pot oh yeah and we're doing the calorie thing too so this calorie thing was uh 371 calories i don't i'm not a fan of calorie counting but you know if you're a bodybuilder whatever i don't think it's a good idea but then again i guess if big bodybuilders do it and they get all big and bodybuildery i guess it works for them <coughs> excuse me so there's the noodle in it. Nood noodle the noodle the udon noodles they're gonna go in the pot Ooh, microplastics what the hell, man? I'm only getting 371 calories. I want every single damn one. Get out of the packet, man. And now the... Actually, I these last. And then the big... Oh, got to get my water. It's over here. The boiling water in the glass because we don't mess around with microplastics on this channel. Long word. Had to think about it. Says the man eating noodle. Oh, these are breaking up in the pot, man. Anyways, I gotta add these. Let's get the phone out for the timer because, as you know, I always struggle with. Sorry, I just got a text from my dad telling me to, I don't know, eat some food in the fridge or something. That's fine. Sorry. I always feel really awkward going on my phone on camera. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, like, I'm not actually supposed to. I don't know, because, like, I wanna create a feel like I'm actually, like, eating next to something. Well, not really, because that's just weird. But hey, my rambles are all on here, so... Okay, we filled up to the wavy line. It's wavy, so we don't want to know. Let's start the five-minute timer, and I can add the rest of the stuff. So maybe that'll cook it properly. So that's all submerged. What I sometimes do is I sometimes... Oh, just get this out of the way. It's ruining the shot, man. What I sometimes do is I like to um, wash my noodles, because, like, think about it. They're made, they're made in a factory. Like everything else, I was made in a factory. No, please, um, please, I wasn't. No, but uh, what the hell is? Oh my god, it's oily. Oh my god, look at that paste, man. There's a lot of paste in here. Oh my god. Give us. That smells actually really nice. That does smell really nice. Oh, it doesn't look very good though. <laughs> it kind of looks like um. Oh man. It looks like a, it looks like what it looks like. I was gonna think of something what it looks like, but I can't remember. Come on, it's because I'm gonna yank it and it's gonna splatter everywhere. And I don't have any. Okay, there we go. Okay, fine. We, we managed. Others wouldn't, but we managed. Okay, let's squeeze that all out there. I wonder who's finding these videos, man. I know my friends are. I know a few people I share them to on Instagram are, because I'm weird like that. And. Oh my god, I'm getting it all on my fingers, man. Go on. I'm just gonna, oh my god, it, it really does not look nice in the water. It does not look nice at all in the water, man. I'm about to ingest this stuff, man. I'm just going to dip this in here to like, get off all the broth and stuff. I don't know if that's a good strat, but who gives a shit? Clear not anyone, because this is just a pot noodle review. Um, I'm just stuffing my fingers now. Look at me. Real trade secret guy. Got stuff over there ready. Let's stir these guys around. Oh, that broth looks pretty good. The noodle noodles. The noodles. The new. Oh, wow. That smells pretty nice, actually. It's a bit. I don't know. It's a bit. Um. These are so nice, man. That smells so good. Oh, my God. That smells great. I've, oh no, I think I've overfilled it because it's gone past the wiggly line. But oh well, this isn't rocket science. Now to add the onegi. Onegi. Spring onions, man, just add them to Oh wow. They smell like grass. Whatever that is. Anyways, let's. <laughs> yeah, I love my own jokes, man. People are like, bro, you laugh at your own joke. Yeah, I'm happy I make myself laugh, man. Imagine that. You didn't make yourself laugh. 
Okay. Yeah. Now it smells even better. Okay. Usually what I do is I'd cut the cameras and be like, okay, I'm gonna come back in five minutes. But I don't know if the five minutes is up yet. We've got two minutes left. I think I could just ramble for that time, but maybe I'll leave it for a minute or so. But I forgot what I was about to ramble about. So we're just gonna have to sit here for two minutes. No, I remember. See, no, I didn't actually buy these myself. Usually I just go to the corner store and get a few. That's where this powdery monstrosity came to be in my possession. No, but I came home from school one day and I thought maybe I will review those noodles. The, the Nis are these Nissin? Whatever these noodles are, I'll just review these noodles. Because they do have quite a cool feature on top, but like, we've been over it, it sounds so powdery, I don't exactly want to do that. But, dude, this smells so good, man. Yeah, so, what I was going to say is, because what we always do is we always talk about like, all oh, the calories, this shit, because, like the calorie per penny. <coughs> Sorry. Anyways, we got like, um, how much do we have? Yeah, so this is what, 370 calories, and they did a deal at Sainsbury's. Oh, there's a lot of stuff at the bottom, you know? You can see quite a bit of the stuff at the bottom. Oh my god, that does not look nice from the bottom. Then again, what does look nice from the... Wait, no. Uh... <laughs> no, it looks like... A thing again. Remember that um, scene in Breaking Bad when he cracks the eggs onto the pan and the pan, it, the pan is glass? Cool ass shot. I wonder how they did it. Because, like, obviously they can't cook a camera underneath the thing. Maybe they got the glass pan really hot and then did it. But, oh my god. I'm really missing the point here. This thing costs like two quid, okay? It costs two quid, but I didn't actually buy these myself. I came home from school and they were there. My dad said, oh yeah, I got them for you. He, I don't think he knows I have a YouTube channel. Probably doesn't. It'd be weird if he did, because like, what kind of parent stalks their kid online? Hi, dad. But he, he's not, because he's technologically illiterate. Yeah, that's all right. That's right, Grandma. That's correct, Grandma. Um, there's the timer. So usually there'd be a cut, but I guess not. Unless I fail to cook udon noodles. Because I heard they are quite hard to cook. But not for me, because I'm clearly not uh, an insane Japanese noodle chef. I'm just some weird 17-year-old. Let's give it a try. Honestly. Oh, these are actually quite cooked, yeah. Yeah, I've cooked them perfectly, yeah, and the udon noodles are good and springy and everything, yeah. But honestly, it smells better than it tastes, to be honest. Maybe I'll just try the broth. That is so weird. Sorry, there's something on my nose. That is so weird. Maybe I got really bad um, spring onions, because these kind of taste really grassy. I feel bad for the person who just skipped right into the middle of the video and had to watch me in silence for like two seconds eat that. <laughs> it smells so good though, but it doesn't really taste that much of anything. Maybe if I stir the bottom. They say for a fuller flavor, I leave it to rest for five minutes, but I don't believe that. I don't think we should leave it, just leave your food to cool down. That's just, that just does not work for me, you know? Unless we're trying like cold, cold, sober dipping noodles or something. Anyway, let's try this. Udon tastes pretty good. It will go really well with this. Alcohol. What would go really well with this would be an egg. Dude, it's stuck in my braces. I'm sorry. An egg. Like, get like an egg and put it in here. Oh, slap. I'm just reading the back. Chicken flavor chicken flavor broth. That's where they put the apostrophe in. I told you it was not real chicken. Because obviously it says vegan here. So, I don't get that. If we're trying to appeal to vegans, why make it chicken flavored? You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm stirring it because remember how we discussed that there's so much stuff on the bottom. Time for some ASMR. Watch me spill this all over my mic. There's really nothing to hear. <laughs> I wonder what my neighbors are doing there, being quite noisy. 
I mean, not as noisy as me, reviewing noodles in my room, shouting at camera. Dude, there's a bit of, what I hate about eating noodles is I've got braces. They're coming off in like a month anyways, but they're like caught right up at the top. So at the end of every meal, I just have to sit there for five minutes, moving my mouth around like a weirdo. There you go. Got it. Let's finish these bad boys off. These aren't actually that bad. These are pretty good. If you put an egg in these, these would be ass tier. There's so much like, there's, there's like anti flavor in here. Like, there's so much flavor you can't really taste it. It's not really that. It's just like, it smells great, looks great, but it just doesn't really taste so much. Plus, if you think about it, the average person needs what? 2,000 calories a day? And this is only three, this is only like 400 at a stretch. With an egg, maybe. So, you probably have to eat like a ton of these a day. Well, not really a ton, probably about five. That does not work, five. Yeah, five. No, not really, five? My brain is not braining the way it brained. I'm gonna go on a rant about hair now. Usually, Anytime I know someone's gonna see my hair, I keep it short because obviously I fell into the trap. If you get a buzz cut short, it's impossible to grow it out again because the sides grow a lot longer. So what I'm gonna do is at the end of some holiday, next time I get my hair cut, after the after some holidays, I'm gonna get the sides cut and leave the top long. Not like, not so I look like Captain Levi or something, but none of you are gonna get that because I know hardly any of my friends watch Attack on Titan, but. Let's see if I can edit a picture of him right here. I don't. I definitely didn't because this is all one take and this is probably just going to go straight on the channel because it's going to be so easy. But hey. These videos do take quite a while to edit, but I use iMovie. Oh my God, yeah. I use iMovie, right? And what really sucks is that it takes up so much storage. And the more storage I use on this, this iPad is like six years old. It's been with me since I started secondary school. It's just like, it's not clicking the way it used to. So I, I might have factory reset it or something, I don't really know. But right now I'm reading manga on my iPad, reading a comic book. I did read Chainsaw Man on my phone and then I bought it all because I'm stupid. But what I did do was, what did I do? Yeah, what I did do was I was reading it on my phone and I realized this is way too small for me to read. So I put it on my iPad. And my iPad is just so slow loading everything. I can't even watch YouTube videos on it anymore because it takes so long to load. I don't know why it takes it takes so long to eat these noodles, and they're only three hundred seventy-one calories. So I'm sorry, but Jacob breaking posture. But I really hate the calorie counting stuff. It's just so irritating. It's not good for anybody who does it. Because think about it. No one needs to know how many, how many calories they're eating. I think it's just stupid. I'm really speed running eating these now. Because I realize they're taking so much longer to eat them than I should have. Thing is, overall, I think these videos take me like what about an hour to do. I mean, an hour fully because I've obviously got to like not look like a dumbass. I've got to set everything up. And people and like I thought, hey, why not just film like five videos at once? Like, dude, I'm 17. This is like about 10 people are gonna see this. There's like no point in doing this. But I'm doing it because why not? It'd be weird if YouTube gets shut down. It won't get shut down. Then again, eventually everything will, but. Show this to my imaginary future grandkids. Which is impossible because I don't talk to any girls, so. No, yeah, yeah, I've heard that. 
by the time you're 16, you've probably already met the person you're going to marry. That can't be true. That seriously cannot be true. Teenage pregnancy. What? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. No, but like, I don't know. I just heard that somewhere. And it's like... I guess it's mainly many statistics, because statistics really don't make any sense if you think about it. Also, for statistics, math questions, right? Did they just bung numbers in? This is a this is going to reach a very niche people of maths. <laughs> like, seriously, people doing A-level a, a, a maths. I never did finish my rant about hair. Oh my god, do I have ADHD or something? I think I just... What I want to do is I want to go on another dopamine detox. I never really did one, but... After I came back from a festival... I know that's not really a dopamine detox. Like, think about it. Drinking every single day. Listening to loud music. Staying late up till night. I think dopamine detox is just eating doo-doo food. The food isn't that bad, though. Like, carnival food is great, but then once you have to live off carnival food, you realise, like, how disgusting it is. And expensive, too. I've got a job now, I think. I mean, I guess I do, yeah. I'm not fully employed in it yet, but I've got a job. And obviously, weddings at the end of the summer. It's going to be weird because I might, because <laughs> last time I went there, I spent a ton of money on just food because it's so expensive food there. And obviously I'd love to bring some Itsu pot noodles, Itsu noodles, but because they're only 370 calories, it's not worth putting this, putting this tub in my thing. It's just not worth it. Maybe if I just strip them all, like open the tub, just dump all the contents into a bag. But then what would I eat it out of? The same damn tub every single time. That's just not nice. That boss is that boss is good. Maybe it's like smoking a joint. It gets better the further down it goes. <laughs> that was not very family friendly. <laughs> oh my god! I hope my dad is not this video now. <laughs> hypothetically, hypothet. I'm just saying hypothetically because like you know I've never smoked a joint. Never, you know. Never. <laughs> a cigarette though I feel like over a certain age you just gotta get past the second hand smoke cause like it's kind of embarrassing to be as an adult like <coughs> can you not second hand smoke in my face I mean obviously it's reasonable cigarettes are a market failure and shouldn't really be in circulation but dude my door just moved for no reason and if my sister does catch me eating noodles you're gonna get one of the boobs this video is going to be so long, I just realised. It's going to take up so much storage, and I wonder if my iPad is still even recording it. Let me check real quick. Okay, so it was still recording, but like... I'll tell you about a deleted one. I did make one that was deleted. It was um the Red Hot Pot, Red Pot Noodles. The classic Red Pot Noodles. Not classic, but the spicy ones. The thing is... When I was filming that, I'd just come home from a party. And I was pretty drunk. Obviously, I'd come home and it was pretty boring, but... Yeah, so I filmed it. It was at night, so I had a lamp here. That lamp on over there, the LEDs on. Everything. I deleted the footage because it was horrendous. Because not only was I like acting like an absolute dumbass, but the camera kept turning off because my iPad was on like 20%. So I started recording, it hit 10%, then it hit 5%. And because I thought, oh, it hit these, it must have stopped recording. I kept redoing scenes, re-saying things. I was like, this is horrendous. There's a lot of little black balls at the bottom of this. I wonder what that is. It's got to be a spice of some kind. Maybe it's rapeseed? I could not live off this. If I had to eat this every day, I would not eat this. Uh, 
I just got a mass of grains at the bottom. Mm. Time for me to clear out my braces. So yeah, that's my first. That's my first review in a while. So I apologize if it isn't as I apologize if it isn't as good as it used to be. Because obviously, I may have fallen off the wagon or whatever. Is that an appropriate term? Do people do people only use that for like alcohol or something? I don't know. Whatever. So there's something stuck in my braces, but yeah, this one is probably one of the maybe one of the I don't know if it's one of the best, you know. It's been quite a while. I can't really compare the two, but for price, maybe the best. Because my uh, I think this was two quid, so maybe it's like I guess maybe one and a quarter. Yeah, maybe one and a quarter, one and, no, one and three quarters of that, how much, you, yeah, one and three quarters. I had it in my head, but I just can't say it, right? It was about one and three quarters calorie to cost ratio, cost to calorie ratio, because two pounds, 200p to 370 calories, pretty much, you know, times by one and three quarters. But the other ones, we had the satay noodle and the other one, please don't go back and watch those old videos, especially the first one, because it's so bad. And I didn't even have a mic until recently. This isn't even me reviewing noodles. This is just me ranting, man. And noodles just happen to be there. <laughs> Maybe I should make a noodle podcast. I get people on my noodle podcast. And we eat noodles. My friends did say, I'll, I'll, I'd like your channel a lot more if you reviewed like proper pot noodles. Like the ones where you have to like actually cook them, not in the pot itself. But I don't know how I'd do that. It would be nice to have a cooking show, but literally I'm 17 and I've got weird hair. I thought of maybe starting some like TikToks or something, but like I've run out of all my ideas. I think I'd probably just critique what other people do. Because there's this really irritating trend right now where like these girls go and they're like, he's a 10, but he does this. Oh, then it makes him a 5. It just irritates me because I think it's stupid to rate someone out of number 10 because I certainly don't do that out. I don't certainly do that for anybody. I think if anybody did that, it's a weird thing to do and they shouldn't do that. So if any of my friends did that, I'd tell them off. But for people just to go online and be like, oh, I'm going to do this. I don't know. It irritates me, okay? I, I get there's tons of people online. There's tons of people online. There's tons of people in the world. They're going to do things that irritate me, but it irritates me. So if you see a TikTok of me shouting at some girls for doing that, <laughs> you ever just like snap back into reality and just realize I'm in my room talking to an iPad I'm not really talking to an iPad but like bro people are gonna see this shit and be like this kid is as weird as I thought he would be this is not a review <laughs> whatever I'm done <laughs> I'm done <laughs>